This is the 4.25 inch barrel TSUS full size 1911 Yukon C10 semi automatic pistol. This one's chambered in 10 millimeter. It is also made with 4140 hammer forged steel. With the 1911s being known for their reliability, let's see how this TSAW stacks up. Originally, Colt was the first company to bring 10mm 1911s to the market. That was in 1987. Which by that time, the 1911 pistol had reached a decent level of maturity. So when they decided to put a 10mm round in it, it didn't have many issues. However, enough of the history lesson, let's move on to the pistol. Up front, TSAW does give you a nice bright green fiber optic sight flanked on either side by some slide serrations. And it is noted that this is all metal. Also to note, the slide serrations do end right as it starts to taper into that 1911 classic cut right in the front. The barrel of the TSOS is stainless steel with a bit of a chromed reflection to it, which will make it very satisfying to clean. Once you get all the gunpowder off of it, it will look brand new. On the back of the pistol, you do have blacked rear sights. Again, flanked by more slide serrations, meaning you can press check this pistol in any way that makes you happy. Heading back just a little bit more, they do give you a bit of a skeletonized hammer that does have horizontal texturing right on the back here, get, making it very easy to grip. Just below that, you do have an indention in your grip safety for the hammer to go back and cock into, which that grip safety also very solid, made out of metal. And then just in front of that, you do also have your ambidextrous 1911 style safeties. Moving a bit more forward, you starts the gray portion of the pistol. Your trigger guard is nice and oval shaped, which does give it again that classic 1911 look and aesthetic, but the trigger is black and has a three hole design in it. Most things on this pistol are made out of metal, weighing in at 2.4 pounds. You can definitely feel that in this pistol. However, it does feel very well made. Just thought that was something to note. Down to the grip. The most notable feature off the top is the signature Ed Brown bobtail cut frame that minimizes printing and reduces weight when concealed carrying it. Following that up, the grip itself does have a sunburst texture to it where there's actually grooves matching that gray and black sunburst coloring that is on the grip as well. Very nice and looks very cool in my opinion. This overall makes it very easy to grip this pistol and hold it confidently. The front and the rear of the grip does have this milled squared texture on it that is very aggressive on your hands. Not gonna lie, that'll make you the coolest person at the range when you're comfortably sending rounds down range while managing that 10 millimeter recoil in front of your friends. The magwell does have a slight flare to it just on the inside here, just a little bit of a curvature, helping to aid in quicker reloads. TSOS also includes a hard shell case. So let's take a look at what's included. Up top, you do have a few cleaning supplies, and down below, you do have a 1911 tool, a trigger lock, and then a spare metal mag. These mags are eight rounds a piece, and there are two total. One in the pistol, one in the box. In conclusion, TSOS has created a 1911 that has performance upgrades while also giving you some contrasting colors and a sunburst styled grip. It does all that while retaining a price right around $750. Couple that with the hard shell travel case, all of a sudden this becomes a great value. If you have any experiences with the TSOS full size 1911 Yukon C10 pistol, please leave a review down below. We would love to see your comments. That is all I have for you today. God bless. It is time to end.